President Jacob Zuma, in his State of the Nation address, reported back on youth employment, the tax regime and the National Development Plan. He also highlighted the need for South Africa to absorb labour as a means to fast-track growth. Karima Brown caught up with the President this past weekend for a look at why South Africa appears to be losing ground in Africa. The main reason really has been the global economic situation, particularly because it uh, <clears throat> was hitting very hard to Europe as well as America. Now these are two regions that we trade more, that we have more connection in terms of the economic development. And once they are affected, we certainly get affected. It's no longer like the olden days where you, you had your national borders and you do your thing in your country it did not necessarily affect other people. The manner in which the interconnection is there today, no country, particularly an influential country or a region that can suffer economic problems and not affect others. So the kind of plans that we had when we focused the growth to be at a particular level uh, as we took over, uh, that was impacted upon very strongly by the economic meltdown, particularly of Europe. And that therefore meant whatever we plan should take that into account. Uh, we could not just plan as if there was no problem. Almost coming back to the saying that says you must cut your cloth according to your size. Uh, as long as you are able to do so, you'll be able to deal with matters. That is what has been the really the biggest challenge in whatever else we wanted to do. <coughs> But given the, <coughs> the 2010 infrastructure development that we had here because of the 2010 Soccer World Cup, uh, we believed, whilst we're really making our own plans in our different ways, we, we realized that the, the, the economic drivers that we talked about in the <coughs> new growth path were very critical that we, p we picked on very specific one that will help us uh, in other words, to do more investment whilst the situation is challenging. Because if you, 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 you do like the massive infrastructure, that investment will do a lot to cushion us from the, 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 the more negative and more severe impact that could, could be there. So that, those are the kind of things we are doing to try to meet the situation so that we are not really hit so hard that we are not able to move forward. Now, you gave a progress report in Parliament, of course, on those very infrastructure rollout programs, how far we've come, and you made some announcements of new ones. President, take us through what has been the major challenges in rolling this program out. For example, are you happy with the extent to which the private sector has come to the infrastructure rollout party? Uh, well, <coughs> given also the, the very situation of the economic meltdown, uh, I would imagine as governments are cautious in what they do, I think there has been that kind of feeling with the private sector as well, because they themselves uh, would depend on how the economies go and how, how our policies. And I'm sure they have been uh, very much watching how do we develop our economic policies. We should give them confidence and everything. And that's the reason why we have opted to involve business quite a lot in terms of interaction so that they understand where government comes from in terms of the plans that we're making so that we can also understand them. But also to say, we cannot just say government alone must develop economy. Uh, we need these two to work together so that we could succeed. I must say, at the level of interaction, you do feel that we, we, have, we are able to find one another. And therefore, there is more kind of willingness to participate because our discussions do help to make a private sector to gauge whether uh, the risks are too big or, or, or whatever, and also to say what risks to take because they can be able to engage us to find out exactly where there are problems and what is it, what are our intentions, where we are putting more emphasis, is that in keeping with their own. But I must say also, government institutions have also been playing a role in terms of ensuring that these become a reality.